Kings of Napa gave us an explosive season finale with a few secrets revealed like the extortionist, but then ultimately quite a few questions to launch us into season two. What's good y'all, this is Erica Van coming to you right here on Erica Van TV with another Kings of Napa video. In this video, as I mentioned, we are breaking down the season finale. It starts off with August walking in with her feet in a well, honey, looking amazing. She got this, she got this little ponytail half up, half down situation. She is glowing and standing strong in her her power because Calvin is in her office because he got something to say. What you got to say, sir? What you got to what you got to say? You said everything that you need to say last night. Didn't you tell your wife it's not what it looks like? Huh? We can't hear you. Now, what I will say is ultimately August decides to take him back, but she does so after making sure it's very, very clear to him that she is a catch. And what you do with the catch is that you cherish it. You do not do all this buffoonery and F boy tendencies. You need to realize what you have before you no longer have it because I'm not something that you're just gonna sit up on a shelf i'm not a side chick i'm none of that and i'm off here for august if you want to be happy sis and go back to him then cool but he is on my list and he gets no more missteps you get no more baby baby please you get no more i'm sorry now he does spend the rest of the episode helping august try to figure out who is actually behind this because he does take bridget back on as a client we've known that he didn't believe that bridget was the one who actually did it but i do feel like in this episode it's clear to see that he's definitely trying to show august that he's here for her and that he supports her so okay you go ahead you on a very very thin rope sir don't make us have to snip it now in this episode the family's trying to figure out how are they going to pivot to make sure the dessert wine does not hit the market and crash and burn they come up with changing the formulation a little bit they do a different design they really come together and it's good like we actually get to see dana working with her a little bit in this episode so i'm like all right you waited the whole entire season to stop trying to be a menace okay cool sir you still on my list too we watching the biggest thing looming over the family's head in this episode though is Bridget. Vanessa has made a very, very interesting turn after finding out the news about her sister sleeping with her husband and then making Bridget and, you know, basically discarding her. Now that Melanie's in the hospital and she is fighting for her life child at the top of this episode, Vanessa has gotten to a place of true forgiveness and that includes Bridget as well. She doesn't necessarily believe anymore that Bridget is the extortionist and I'm not even going to drag this out any longer. Why, child, why the extortionist is somebody who nobody even thought? None of us guessed it. Not a one person. Chow, it's the waiter slash owner gross back from the restaurant that she likes. Who saw that coming? Not I, said the cats. But he has a big vendetta against the King's family because before the King's family owned the land the vineyard is on, his dad owned it and sold it to Bridget's dad. And then they turned it into this. And then he has a little racism up in him too because he's like, your family has no history here and you're not gonna, we're not gonna get played by a bunch of, a bunch of what, sir? Make sure that next word come out your mouth, you said with your whole chest. So that when I punch you in it, you can make sure that you feel it. Y'all, I was just sitting there listening to his whole little speech about, well, it's me and my white family. We don't have no legacy. Y'all have built empires. Oh my God, someone please care. We don't, we don't. And the fact that you want to extort them for money and then now kill August because the money didn't make you feel better. Baby, there's plenty of couches around. Go, go find one. There's a therapist that can help you out because there's nothing that nobody can do for you, okay? I did not see that plot twist coming. So shout out to the creatives behind Kings of Napa because had I realized or been able to even gleam that it was a racist white man with a ton of white privilege behind the disheveling and the dismantling of their family. They're literally pointing fingers all at each other. He, meanwhile, he didn't stole her phone and, 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 and ping something to her phone and set Bridget up completely so that the, the whole thing will look like it was her, but it was absolutely not her. And it's just like the terrorism. I literally tweeted this out, y'all. I was like, like the fact that it was this white man that caused all this dissension within this family and we didn't even get the wiser all because he feels his ego is bothered because his white privilege isn't being acknowledged or something along those lines. It's such a mirror for where we are right now in this country. So again, shout out to the creatives there. So we get the answer to that and the extortions are going to stop because he is ultimately apprehended because what? August whoops that ass. I gotta say it again, August whoops that ass and I'm so excited for her. By the time the police gets there, she 
has him in a headlock. Calvin has to grab her to calm her down once they release her and get her up off of him. And I'm just like, I love to see it. She got that one last kick in for good measure and I'm so here for it. Also in this episode, child, Melanie wakes up and then her and Vanessa have a heart to heart. So they should be good going into next season. Rose comes back, but she ain't good going into next season because she finds out that Dana has been lying this whole time. He got a vasectomy. He can't have kids. She really wants to have kids and he never told her. Meanwhile, he let her go through all of the things to try. Like she's going through all of the fertility treatments. She's going through every step of like the medicine, the shots, all of the stuff. And he knows good and well that he out here shooting blanks. It's giving ghetto. So yes, you are continuing to menace. We find out who the white man was from the last episode and he is basically Bridget's art dealer because she was trying to sell a few paintings. So everything literally starts to, you know, fall in line and make sense. Child Christian, I'm gonna need him to get on board with the family and stop going rogue and doing his own thing because Sheila or Sheena or whatever that this old Trollop's name is, I already knew I didn't like her from the jump. I already knew that she was suspect. She talking about she could set up a deal for him with his bourbon, gets him to meet these two little shady Negroes and he falls for it like a dang going dummy. By the end of the episode, she texts talking about yeah we're gonna get a bunch of money from him scammer artist alert please august figure out what's going on so that you can save your brother because this girl here is sent to be a menace by the end of the episode child there's a hotelier fine one but a hotelier comes and he's looking at the property talking about he wants to buy the vineyard because they're trying to construct a whole bunch of uh, hotels and tear all the vineyards down and stuff like that and i'm like okay we just met the out for next season it's all right the king's family is stronger than ever and we could take you down bro it ain't nothing but a word sorry for you and your little future plans but that ain't happening over here head captain don't care how fine you are all right y'all and that is my breakdown for episode eight kings of napa bridget is free she's making her way back into the family but not actually as they used to be there's still a little bit of wall a little bit of distance they are not 100 on one accord which makes sense you know they have definitely put her in a very weird position and kind of betrayed her so by the end of the episode we see her and rose conspiring in cahoots she's creating a little bit of distance even though she's going to be around next season and i cannot wait to see what her journey looks like then hopefully this does not become her villain origin story let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section down below hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos kings of napa might be gone our kind of people i also broke down every episode this season of that so if you haven't seen it already i think that you should give it a watch i'll link my breakdowns here for you and i am bringing out all the latest all the hottest in television so there's something else for you to watch even though this show is off be sure to check out bel air which i am totally obsessed with right now and if you needed a suggestion from me i would probably say that one i have the breakdowns for that as well which is premiering every thursday on peacock and i'll see you in my next video